Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's my series of podcasts uh, because I get my Raspberry Pi very soon. Um, so if you've got an Apple Mac like I have and you want to install it, um, I'll go through processes with regards to how to get it up and running in a virtual machine using Parallels um, and what you need to do. Uh, so first, uh, first we need a Linux operating system, and the recommended one is Debian. So if I just search for it. Okay, universal operating system. I think the reason why they've chosen this one because it's such a small footprint. Um, <clears throat> first thing we need to do is get the network installed. Um, and here we have various options. Uh, the one in particular we want is the um, K3BSD i386. <clears throat> um, yeah, at the moment it's about 40 meg in size. Uh, but if you ins once you've installed it, and the next thing to do is, is run up parallels and get parallels ready. Uh, so we have Parallels, a new version of <coughs> a virtual machine coming up. Uh, first we want to select uh, an install from a DVD. Hit continue. And just select one. Uh, so in our particular case it should be, here we go. There we go, that's the one we want. And hit continue. Uh, we're just going to try and install the bare bones of it. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to leave it for this at the moment with regards to the name, but that's fine. Uh, so now it's going to go and create our virtual machine for us, a step by step process. Uh, so just a default install. Because I'm in England, I'm going to say it to English. You can say whichever language you like. Um, in the United Kingdom. And network has been installed. Um, host name. I'll just leave it as that at the moment, so that'll be fine. Again, local domain, that's fine. Put that wherever we like. Uh, now it's asking for a password for the super user. Uh, this is like administrator on uh, Windows. Um, so you set a password. Verify your password. Uh, now it's asking for a full username. So I shall put my name, just, just Brian, whatever you like. Uh, here's the account Brian, and let's set a password for this account. And because I, I downloaded the larger version, um, it doesn't have to go uh, off the internet to get which files it requires. But by all means, if you get the smaller version, it just means you've got to download each time, which takes a little bit longer uh, to install. Um, in our particular case, we're going to use the entire disk. Um, let's set it up. There we go. All files in partition recommended for new users, which is us. This is the first time we'll be using it. Finished. Yeah, and yes, that's exactly what we want. That's installing the base system, as you can see. And all the dependencies with regards to it needs.
It's a bit like watching paint dry, but um, I assure you if you download the smaller version, it's even longer. Um, <clears throat> now our mirror, uh, we want to choose um, whichever country is nearest to you, so United Kingdom's for me. Uh, again, the default one's fine. HTTP proxy, well, I don't have one, but if you do have one, then into your proxy settings in here. I love these time remainings. Aren't they great? One second to go. What's the next one going to say? Not 23, 11. Oh, it's got it. How quick was that? Two seconds? Fifty-four minutes to one minute. How was that? It's pretty quick, huh? Um, here we don't want to just stick default again. Um, in this particular case, uh, we are selecting just the standard uh, system utilities, which is at the bottom. Uh, of course, you can select whichever one you want, uh, but we're just going to go for the basic one mainly because the Raspberry Pi has got limited memory.
you know, this time remaining seems to be more accurate. Um, it's actually real time, it seems. Nah, that's much better. <clears throat> Grub bootloader, master boot record, yes. Again, these are all just essentially the defaults. Right, so now what it's saying is actually remove um, any CDs that you have uh, which you're running, so I'll just disconnect it. Hit continue. <clears throat> this is because it's now going to reboot. As you can see. Almost there. Done. All done within inside 15 minutes. Installed and ready to go.